Now, after we've been in this first world, we did everything we need to do in bidding to except for one thing. We still need the level 8 cart. So, let's go to the elevator and go down one floor to go back to the ground floor. And thankfully for this demonstration and tutorial, our health worked out fine. Sometimes it can happen that you get unlucky and you need to heal up before. But follow the line here, back to the central room, you go into the water and go up. And what we basically want to have is at least roughly one and a half stars. I think I just have barely enough help to make the gap here because we're going to go to the right and then up in this little gap. And for the entirety that we are in this dark water, we're going to lose health. As soon as we reach the next screen, there's bright water again and we are safe. But if we don't have enough health, we have to go L2, right circle or B, and then heal up. We cannot heal ourselves as we are in the deep water. We have to be in the bright water in order to heal ourselves. Now, if I have enough health like this, I can go right and then up. And I just barely made it into the sprite water. If you have one star or less health, you have to heal yourself, as I said. Thankfully, once again, this is why we want to place the rations now later in this menu, rather than earlier where it was before. Going from the level 5 card in healing yourself is just L2, right, B your circle, and then L2 again. Super easy menu. Now with 100% health on rank 4, we want to swim all the way through the deep water. This is the scuba skip that was found by Puzon, and it only works on easy difficulty. This is why this category is also being played on easy difficulty, because original difficulty the damage values would be different here we cannot skip the scuba gear. We would need to go to building 3 and we would need to grab the scuba gear there. Here we can skip that grab. And of course, we still have to grab it later because this is 100%, but we only need to go from building two to three once. We don't need to go back and forth. After we reach the bright water, still keep your ration on, follow the path north and see where Snake is currently headed. We're going to be slightly to the right here and then we want to move up roughly here. Because as you can see, we're just going to end up in front of the door, but not too far to the right to waste frames. This is roughly the line where you want to be. And we're going to keep the ration on because we're going to walk on this electric floor. It will automatically use another ration, so we don't need to heal up manually. From there, L2 down right to go to the level 7 card on your way to this door and enter. And now we're going to fight Coward Duck or Dirty Duck. Now, there's three hostages around him. If you shoot just one of them, you lose one rank. If you shoot all three of them, you will be going down to rank one. And we need to hold at least three stars worth of plastic explosive. So as you know, if you lose a rank, we cannot hold as many items anymore. So ideally what we're going to do is, we're just going to skip his dialogue, mash square or X to shoot him where we stand, and ideally just hit him with two rockets and he's done. If the first one misses, just keep on spamming the attack button and the second and third rocket 100% of all times will hit him. So just hold here. As you can see, even if the first rocket missed, second and third will always hit. Now, watch out, there's a pit here. So we want to go left first, then up, then left. Pick up the level 8 card. Go right and go up. And as it is 100%, you're going to save all these POWs. Scope them, hold X down during that. Skip the unlocks, and we're good to go. And now, Basically, just swim back again. Go left here, go into the bright water, and just before we get going, heal up once more. L2, oops, I was too far. L2, right, no, L2, left up, circle, L2, and then keep swimming. And that's all we need. We just need to save free PDWs, kill the boss, of course, and get his level 8 card, and swim all the way to the bottom. Now, in the bright water, we need to heal up once more, because if you remember in the previous room, south, there's still more dark water and our health does not reach. So, of course, we gotta L2, B your circle, and then after that, we can go to the level 7 card, which is just down and right. L2 once more and then keep on swimming, and then exit to the left. Go up here, and go through the door, and that's the end of building 2.